Hi friends, my name is Miss Caitlin. I am a registered dietitian with Cornell Cooperative Extension, Niagara County. Today, we are going to talk about where our food comes from and look at each part of the plant and how we eat it. So let's dive in. Do you see the fruits and vegetables on the screen? What are some of the names of these fruits and vegetables? Maybe you see yellow corn, orange carrots, green zucchini, red tomatoes, and green broccoli. All of these foods and more are plants and grown on a farm or in a garden. Eating plant foods provides our body the nutrients to grow up big and strong. These foods help our vision to see clear and far, help us build strong bones, and have healthy skin and nails. Let's look at each part of the plant and pair them up with the food that we eat. We start at the top of our diagram with the flower. The flower is the part of the plant that makes fruits and seeds. Flowers are oftentimes colorful and they're fun to pick in our yard. Can you name any flowers that we eat? One example is cauliflower. Flower is even in the name of this food. Another example is broccoli. Next, we have the leaves. The leaves are the flat part of the plant that grow off the stem. The leaves use the sunlight to make food for the rest of the plant. Spinach and lettuce are examples of leaves that we eat. We eat these leaves in a salad, in soup, or on a sandwich. Now for the stem. The stem is an important part of the plant and helps move nutrients from the roots to the leaves and the flowers. An example of a stem that we eat is celery. See how celery is long and narrow, similar to the stem in our diagram? Now we will talk about fruit. Fruit is the part of the plant that contains seeds. Fruit can grow on trees or on a plant low to the ground. Tomatoes are actually an example of fruit because they contain seeds. Can you think of other fruits that contain seeds? I can think of apples, cucumbers, kiwi, and zucchini because those are all foods that have seeds inside. The root is the part of the plant that we cannot see because it grows underground. The root anchors the plant and prevents it from falling over. Roots also collect rainwater to keep the plant hydrated. Beets are an example of a root vegetable. When root vegetables are ready to be eaten, they can be pulled out of the ground by their leaves. Onions, radishes, and carrots are also examples of root vegetables. The last part of the plant we will talk about are the seeds. The seeds are important to grow new plants. So we put these seeds in the ground in our garden or on a farm to help make new food. There are some seeds that we can eat on our own such as peas. So peas are grown in a pod, but we can take the peas out and eat them by themselves. Remember when we said that fruit contains seeds? This is a really good example. Other seeds that we eat are corn and beans. And look at that. We talked about each of the plant parts, including a variety of plant parts during all of our meals and snacks is really important. Our goal is to be as healthy as we can be. Thanks for joining me today.